Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, today is WWDC, Apple's developer conference, usually takes place in June, and they had some really big announcements, including iOS 11, which you guys can go ahead and download if you have that, and check it out, at least the beta. Um, but three major announcements I wanna talk about, and the first one is HomePod. HomePod is Apple's speaker-based, a uh, Siri speaker-based system that allows you to, of course, use Siri voice commands and also listen to music. What's really different about HomePod compared to everything else, first of all, is its price. It's priced at $349, so it's pretty much the most expensive in this category, where we have things like Alexa that starts at $49, we have Google Home at $99, we have uh, Microsoft's Cortana based with Harman Kardon that's also priced uh, lower than $349. So on price, it is, is, it's higher than the rest. But it also packs in a lot. So it's got a forward-firing tweeter. Its design looks like the, uh, the old Mac Pro. It's got a cylindrical design. Uh, it's got you know what they call spatial awareness, so it means that it knows where in the room you position the speaker in. You can use Siri, of course, uh, to do all the commands from Siri. You can also use it to play your music, and it's centered around Apple Music. So at least for now, that is all you can use uh, the uh, HomePod for in terms of music playback functionality. It's got seven tweeters. It's also got six mic arrays, so you can actually you actually can listen to you properly and hear your commands well. All that fun stuff and it's coming out in December towards the end of the year so 349 stay tuned for that I think that's more of like a holiday push for it and that is something we'll see how that also integrates with the next iPhone once they announce that in September so Apple hasn't given us a new Mac Pro but they're giving us a new iMac Pro to compete against the Surface Studio, which got a lot of praise from a lot of people. Now the iMac Pro comes packed with a behemoth amount of specs. You've got a 27 inch 5K display in there. You've got a Vega, Radeon Vega card, the Max card with 16 gigabytes HMB2 RAM. So you've got a lot of uh, specs that can go up to 22 teraflops. You can also get up to an 18 core Xenon processor, the next generation Xenon processor, up to four terabytes of SSD storage and 128 gigabytes of, um, of RAM, e ECC2 uh, RAM. So you've got a lot in terms of specs and also 10 gigabit ethernet on this bad boy. So in terms of like workflow and performance, this thing will be a beast. Again, it still doesn't have a pen functionality. I wish I could actually do some work on that, like that. But spec wise, this thing is packed. Now pricing starts at 4,999 will also be available December, so it's got enough time to save money, like everyone says on Twitter there, like, gotta save up for this. But yeah, so that is the new iMac Pro. It's pretty cool. Apple's come out with something that really is a performance piece for creatives and people who want something that packs in a lot of specs and don't want to necessarily build a PC. Now, the final, of course, announcements are new iPad Pros. There's a new 10.5 inch iPad Pro. It's got, of course, a new A10X processor in there, 40% faster, six CPUs, 12 GPUs. You've got better performance in there. You've also got uh, new uh, dockable apps and dockable app tray, if you will. So a lot of customizability in iOS 10 is coming into that too. You've got a new file manager. Now that's more on the software side. There is a new Apple Pencil, which has 120 hertz refresh rate, so better in terms of writing, sketching, drawing, all those features. Now the new 10.5 inch iPad Pro starts at 649, 64 gigabytes, and goes up in price from there. So there you have it guys. Those are the, probably the biggest announcements with uh, WWDC uh, 2017. You know, Apple announced a new iPad Pro. We expected a refresh from there. Also the new uh, iMac Pro. Uh, iPad Pro, the new iMac Pro uh, was uh, out of left field and a stunner and something I think a lot of people who are in the creative side of things would definitely like those kind of specs and the kind of performance you'd be getting from that. And of course, the HomePod, we're waiting for this. It's finally here. Uh, not sure if that will be uh, we'll be able to use that on, on Android devices as well as also Apple devices. Um, but it, it is centered around Apple Music and we have that available on Android devices. So we'll have to wait and see. But those are the things you have. I'm really curious to see how the uh, HomePod fares and we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that when it launches at the end of the year. If you guys have any questions or any comments about any of these, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.